Hey guys. I'm in the hotel. Yes, I am. And I have me some dinner here from the quick trip. It's just a turkey and bacon um, croissant that I stopped and got because I knew I wasn't going back out. Because to be honest with you, I'm going to get myself ready for bed here shortly. It's what I'm going to do. And find me something on TV or on this computer. I did my, um, this is just some Miracle Whip. I had mayonnaise too. I don't know why I got Just and took all that condiment. This mustard. And like I said, this ain't nothing but a croissant with some lettuce and tomatoes on it. And it's got turkey and bacon on it. And I got Lay's potato chips for my chips. I ain't scared. Grace the first. Hold on. Heavenly Father, thank you for this food. I'm about to receive for nourish my body in Christ's name. Amen. And I got a Coke Zero for the drink. Y'all. So, I guess this guy said this woman here. I've been bugging him since I got here for two or three things. But the TV didn't have a remote, right? Yeah. So, guess what I did? I called her in there and asked him for a remote. Then I put it on the thing and say you can control the TV. Well, I don't know all that with these new TV. Take some about. You can control the TV with your phone, right? Okay. I guess that man said, I ain't going to even tell her because she ain't going to know. So, you know, he said, ma'am, I'll bring you a remote. I said, thanks. <sighs> Y'all, you know, it's so funny how sometimes you just receive a message right on time. Well, I, uh, I don't know if I told y'all this or not. Well, it was like it was meant for me to hear something because I caught the little snippet of Gail King interviewing Tina Turner on YouTube. It was like nine minutes. And I sit up and watched the whole nine minutes. And it was something I received from that message. I really did. Just from her talking, I just received something from, from my own life. And it's so weird that... Uh, and I was just telling my brother about the interview and that, you know, Tina Turner had had got married to this guy that was 10 years younger than her and then she had had just how God line, aligns things. She had a stroke apparently and she had kidney failure and this man that she married donated one of her, her his kidneys to her. So, just something, isn't it? After all she had been through with Ike, and she was talking about her son briefly who had committed suicide and she said that she just thought he was lonely and I wonder how many people out there feel lonely and alone and don't think anybody cares about them
and don't think they matter. And, and I say that because I was watching one of Domo Wilson's um, vlogs, and I don't watch her all the time, but this particular one was titled, I'm Not All Right. Do we hide and not tell people that we are right? And she kind of admitted that she was, she went through a breakup, you know, and that has a process, of course. You go through stages. But there's no shame in getting help of talking to people. You know, we all go through periods in our life. And before I went and talked to someone, I had like, you know, I can pray about it. I'm not going to do that. And I still pray about things. Don't get me wrong. But it's nice just to have somebody neutral to listen to you without any judgment. Because even your family members have their own preconceived notions and what they think they want to say. How you should do things. How you should fix things. But you don't necessarily need to know how to fix it. You just need somebody to listen. You know, without any judgment. And you know, sometimes you just think a person just being on their side, but if a neutral party tell you, you know, maybe you'll say, well, yeah, maybe I should look at things this way. Or that way, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. So, y'all, I listen to music. Sometimes I listen to podcasts. And I listen to sermons and stuff when I'm traveling. So, T.D. Jace came up a couple of times. And I would skip over them. And it's so ironic. I listen to part of one. And then I listen to Joe, right? And this particular message, I skipped over because I said I heard it before. I heard it before. I don't, I don't want to hear that. Let me tell you how God worked. It was called Faith Ain't Fair. The message came, you know, I had my thing on shuffle. My iPod. I'm shuffle. So, it's a lot of stuff on the iPod, but sometimes it'll shuffle back to stuff and you're like, I skipped it. I tried to skip it, y'all. And he was talking about Ruth and all, how she was blessed and stuff. And, ironically enough, the message came around again about Faith ain't fair. And even though I have heard that message several times, it's been a while since I've heard it, y'all. And if you've never heard it, it's by T.D. Jakes. That's a sermon I recommend you listen to. And Faith ain't fair. I got a blessing from that message today. And like I said, I heard that message several times before. But how about either I heard something different in the message today or something in the message caught my attention. And Joel was talking about and I was just talking about this. How people will leave somebody that got 80% of what they have looking for, you know, the other 20%, you know. And the same thing I always say. You think the grass green on the other side, but you get that yard need to be mowed too. Mm. And upkept and 
taken care of. And how, you know, sometimes Joel was saying how he was trying to get, you know, his wife to fit his mold and be like him. And a lot of times, remember I tell people, you can't change nobody. Either you're going to accept them or you're not. Only God can change them. Them and God can work on them. You want to go in and up frustrated and upset trying to change the next person. I tell you, you have to claim the victory and know that God got your blessing and really know that God got your blessing. Y'all, every time I come to Atlanta, this is no lie. I really do like the QTs. They don't have, I don't know where I said, I think they may have these in Texas too. They're really quick trips, but they, you know, I call them QT. I guess that's what everybody calls them. But they make other stuff, but they make your sandwiches fresh for you. And it's really reason, reasonably priced. You know, it's not ridiculous. I think I paid five something for that. And y'all, I went back and looked at my tape. It might be in the car somewhere. I'm thinking I lost it when I washed my hands though in the bathroom. I went in a quick trip. I lost one of my rings. This stuff stay, but these were too big. I knew they were. They just slip off. I probably need to go down a size since I lost some weight. If they really too big. But I don't lost one now. Maybe it'll come back up. I lose more jewelry. I lost one of my bracelets. Ugh. It fell off somewhere. Hopefully. Have any of y'all ever stayed at the high place? This is a nice little room. This is a little sweet. You know what I hate they don't hang out on? I don't guess they do it. I'm gonna look in that drawer. I don't think they have my microwave. It ain't like I got nothing to microwave no one. I don't know why I'm all so concerned about it. Well, this is a nice room if it's for several of y'all traveling. Like the top sets out into a bed. I mean, there's two beds in this room. So if you got your, you know, you and your kids, it'll work out really nice. Mm. Are you like me and my brother and sister? But if my sister's husband was with us, we probably would have still got, we'd have got two rooms. But I told him, look, don't be no hanky panky, y'all. Get over there and carry your butt to sleep. <laughs> y'all know I'm silly. Anyway, y'all, this is made for a nice little dinner. For me anyway, um, well, we're going to go out tomorrow, I guess. Well, we're going to the food festival for one thing. Yeah, y'all. No, it was $6.08 for my little sandwich. Because I chose to be on my own. 
the one that was pre-made was but it had cheese on it and it didn't have no bacon either y'all know i stopped and got me some power ball here in georgia and um mega millions i am been a mega millions almost up to a billion dollars i see what's really going on now i would like part of that and i'm not thinking small but i don't need all that money That's too much money for one person. I know one person who win it, they probably don't think it's too much for them. But I'd rather see a group of people win that. That's just outrageous. It's nine something. And you know by Tuesday when it uh when it was a nine. Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna um buy me a ticket in Tennessee when I get that, but I got one here too. I went on and got it before I forget. Y'all, anyway, I'm through eating. I done already jibber jabbed enough in the car, which I'm going to upload that one. But I thank y'all for joining me. And y'all know I love you. But God loves you the most. Remember to always be kind to yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessed. And y'all, I don't know if I'm going to get to come on tomorrow or not. It won't be a traditional dinner. Because like I said, we're going to the food festival, uh, Taste of Atlanta. My brother, sister, and I, and uh, probably I will try to do some scenes from there. But I've already told them, you know, my niece still on them. Act like you want to act. So I don't know how much walking around the festival I'm going to do tomorrow. But what I do, to, you know, am able to do, I'll try to show y'all tomorrow. Anyway, love y'all, and y'all have a good and wonderful night. Bye.